Hi, so for this problem, it says uh, company owes 500,000 to be paid at the end of year one and four, respectively. So, um, so at one and four, needs to owe cash flows of 500 and a thousand, and that the company was up in business to match the duration present value. Okay, the investment program also produces cash flows of X today and Y in three years, right? So calculate X and general whether that's why the conditions were writing the expectation. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find well what's the first condition of writing immunization that the present value of assets equal present value of liabilities. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna simply find the present value of the liabilities. Right. So I'm gonna calculate this to the effective of 10%. And what I'm gonna do is gonna do 500 One right plus a thousand times so now the present value is one one three seven point five five and that the second rule of Reddington is that the duration of assets have the equal duration of liabilities, right? So I'm gonna find the first duration of the liabilities. I already found the present value formula part. Now I have to find the numerator. So it would go 500 V times one, right? Plus uh, 1,000 times four, which is 4,000 uh, V to the four, right? Now let's solve this top. So it'll be 500 times to the negative one plus 4,000, 1.10 to the negative four, right? Which is 3,186.599 divided by 1137.55. So it's going to be 2.8. So this is 2.8 is going to be the duration of the liability. So uh, the cash flows that are given here are x and y, right? So x times the duration of that portion is zero plus y. Um, oh yeah, uh, yeah, so x is, uh, yeah, so basically, sorry, the duration of the first asset is one, is zero, right? Because it's occurring at time zero and the weight is represented as I'm gonna say W of the present value plus Y, which is three, and the weight for Y's is one minus W, right? So we're gonna solve, so this is zero, so this is gonna be out. We're gonna do three minus three W equals 2.8, right? So I'm gonna do 2.8 minus three divided by negative three. And then W is going to be 0 0.06666, which means that 0 0.0666 would be the weight of asset one, which is X. So how to find that? I'm going to take the present value, the value of the liability, so 1137.55 times 0 0.0666 to find the weight of it. Then I find that X is has a weight of 75.76 so now once i get that solved i can get rid of c d and e so we know it's 75. now we want to determine where, where, whether reddington and I can immunization conditions are satisfied well we already have um the first rule and the second rule handled setting present values equal to each other durations equal to each other but now what is the third condition for reddington immunization that the value of the double derivative of the value of assets is always greater than the double derivative of the value of the liabilities. Basically, another way to mention uh, convexity, right? Mod C A greater than mod C D L. So now, how are we going to compute that? Um, so now we're going to have to solve this problem in a very 
a longer format that will allow us to make derivatives. So I'm gonna erase what I just did here. So, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first take this, right? So, um, price, right? So given an interest rate, we're, we're gonna have to use interest rates for this. So we know that the first asset that we got was x occurring at time zero plus y. If we were to discount it back, uh, one plus i to the three or v to the three uh, minus uh, liabilities, right, of 500, discounted back one year, minus a thousand, discounted back one year, right? Right, and then, um, well, the thing is, is that we can just set these equations equal to each other, basically. I could do um, this whole thing equals to this, right? And then I could, uh, and then the second derivative would be, x would be out this would become negative three y times one plus i minus the exponent negative four. Then set it equal to the derivative of 500, one plus i to the negative two plus uh, 4,000 times one plus i, negative five. Now we'll find the derivative again, right? Second derivative, that's what we're trying to find. So I'm gonna do negative, oh, I'm gonna do 12 y, one plus i to the negative five equals to negative a thousand times one plus i to the negative three minus twenty thousand times one plus i is negative six and now now we're able to plug in the interest rate and we want to see if if the, this amount of asset is greater than this amount of liability so um well first of all we're gonna have to solve for y right we did find that the weight was 0 0.066 so and the um present value, well, we found that X was 75, right? So the weight was uh, 0 0.066. So if we did one minus 0 0.066, we would get that amount multiplied by the present value. And then we would get uh, the amount of, uh, and once we would get that amount, we would also uh, accumulate it by three periods. Oh no, we would, uh, yeah, we would accumulate by three periods to get this amount of 1413.82 for y, and then uh, 1.10 to the negative 5. So we'll do 12 times 1413.82 times 1.10 so it's going to be 105 
34.45 for this part. Now the second part is going to be negative 1,000 to multiply 10 to the negative 3 minus um, minus 20,000 So it's going to be negative L0 for any So we see here that this value here is um, 10 by 4, 3, 4, point 4, 5. And this value here is negative 12, 0, 40, point 79, right? So that just sets up a distinguishment between these two. But what we really have to do is we need to also uh, put these equations together, right? So I'm gonna do 10, 3, 3, 4.45, minus 12, 0, 40, dot 79. So now I get a negative amount, which means that the choice would be A, Reddington immunization conditions are not satisfied. So. What I do is I just set up a, an equation where I can find derivatives of by combining the discounted values of assets and liabilities, putting them all together, then finding the second derivative of them and putting the variables that I need to do, computing the whole thing as a whole, and determining that the result is a negative number. If it was a positive number, then Reddington immunizations could be satisfied. So, yeah.